Half a million people crowd Epsom, for once again the calendar says it's Derby Day. Hundreds of cars, coaches and trains have brought racegoers to the world's most famous classic. But before we watch our hopes go the old way home, let's see what else Epsom has to offer. <laughs> And to complete the traditional Derby scene, Her Majesty the Queen is here. Lord Rosebery accompanies her towards the paddock. Also in the royal party are the Queen Mother, Princess Margaret, the Princess Royal, the Duchess of Kent and the Duchess of Gloucester. There's been a last-minute rush to back Blue Sail, American Johnny Longdon's mount. Naturally enough, royal attention focuses on Her Majesty's own colt, Landau. Billy Snaith is the jockey who replaces Sir Gordon Richards. Princess Alexandra watches the riders come out. Derby Day this year is on the first anniversary of the Queen's coronation. The Queen, whose horse was second last year, stands a good chance of victory this time. Never Say Die and Arabian Night join the procession for the parade. goes Landau, looking every inch a champion. Roston Manor, number seven, has Doug Smith in the saddle. Number eight is Blue Sail. Johnny Longdon rides American style, plus goblins. The clock's moving round to 3.30. Won't be long now. Up at the tapes, the field of 22 get into line. Never say die, seems unsettled. And away they go. Moonlight Express, Landau and Blue Sail jump into the lead right away as they head uphill towards the bushes. They're setting a cracking pace already. Moonlight Express and Landau are holding their lead. Lester Piggott keeps Never Say Die on the outside, well behind the leaders. At the top of the hill, Lavengro is up with Moonlight Express, Rouston Manor, Blue Sail and Darius. Landau seems to be dropping back for the moment, but Ferriol, a French horse, is gaining steadily. Sweeping downhill towards Tattenham Corner, Rouston Manor, Ferriol and the outsider Alpenhorn are making the running. Arabian Knight is going well, but he's biding his time. Into Tattenham Corner and Rouston Manor, Blue Sail, Darius and Never Say Die are all there. Four furlongs to go. They'll be making their challenges soon. Darius and Landau are in the lead, but now Pickett begins his run on Never Say Die. Here he comes, moving up with every stride. Darius and Landau fighting it out with him, but Never Say Die is in front now. Darius is second, and Arabian Knight is up there to challenge. Lester Pickett shows his mount the whip, about two furlongs to the post. It's still Never Say Die with Darius second, but Arabian Knight is moving up fast on the outside. Tommy Gosling brings him closer. It's going to be a terrific battle for second place. It's Never Say Die's victory, all right, and Arabian Knight is second, by little more than a nose from Darius, a surprise result. Too bad it wasn't a royal victory this time, but what a brilliant win for a great-hearted colt, and what a superb ride by young Piggott, the 18-year-old boy wonder of the turf. Mr. Sterling Clark, the American owner of Never Say Die, wins nearly 17,000 pounds and the greatest honor in world racing. <laughs> <laughs> 